It has indeed been a while since I've done a Mercedes shops and I've been accumulating the stuff I'm going to show you today for probably over a month, but I feel like I finally have enough to put a video together. So it's mostly actually beauty products because there's a couple of things from Sephora, the Pettivore shop and Pharmaca, and then some other beauty bits that have come into my life that I'll mention at the end of the video, but I'm just going to start with kind of the more boring stuff. I placed a pretty small Vitacost order recently and almost all of these things are repurchases but I just thought I would mention them quickly in case you're new to my videos and are curious about the kind of workout supplements that I take. So I had to replace my Vega Sport pre-workout energizer and I get this in the flavor Acai Berry and the Recovery Accelerator in the flavor Apple Berry. I am like sort of on the fence with how I feel about workout supplements. These are kind of the most natural ones that I've found. I have been on a tremendous Nikki Blackadder kick on YouTube. I don't know if anybody watches her. She's basically like a female bodybuilder physique fitness competitor and I've been like going back and watching all of her videos which I'll probably talk more about in my October favorites video. But after watching her I'm like, ooh, maybe I really want to take Cellucor, but that stuff is like it's full of so many like chemicals and preservatives that I just can't bring myself to do it yet. But I do like, if I'm going to be doing like a heavy lifting session, I like being able to take something to kind of get me going. And this does give you like a little boost. And then the recovery accelerator feels very replenishing after a tough workout. And then I needed another protein powder. So I got the exact same thing that I have right now, which is the Reservage grass-fed whey protein in chocolate. I like this. I used to get Tara's Whey all the time, but Vitacost has stopped carrying the full range of flavors. So I just went for this one and I enjoy it. I got two Epic Nutrition Bison Bars. They have, um, they make like a turkey one, a beef one, a lamb one, and then these bison ones. The bison ones are totally my favorite. I love these. And a lot of times I'll just have this with like a piece of fruit and that'll like be my lunch. <laughs> a lot of times they're extremely filling, a uh, really good snack. They'll tide you over for like three to four hours. So I really like these. I decided to get some matcha powder, which I honestly, I'm not sure I've ever had. Maybe I've had a matcha latte sometime in my life, but that's what I got this for. I wanted to start making matcha tea lattes at home. I got the brand, it's just called Matcha Love. This is an organic, medium bodied matcha powder. If any of you have tips for how to make a matcha latte at home, please let me know. I also like love the aesthetic of this brand. The packaging is really cute. The branding is really cute. I'm very attuned to all that stuff. So I'm excited about that. And then I decided to try an Aloha Bay chakra candle that I haven't yet tried. This is the money candle but it's the first chakra candle which is associated with the color red and it's scented with cassia clove and nutmeg it smells really amazing i'm gonna burn this probably for the first time tonight the aloha bay chakra candles have been very hit or miss for me i found a couple that i really really like and some that have been complete busts so i'll report back on this one my hair is probably hot mess express. Like I didn't even brush it. I like did all my makeup and then I just like let my hair down out of a bun and this is like what you get. Okay, let's talk about Pettivore next. I did two separate orders. I recently stopped my Pettivore subscription box because I just was increasingly unhappy with the stuff that I was getting, but I did have points to use up in the shop. So this is two separate orders. In the first order, I decided that I wanted to get a full size of the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. I got this in the shade Light. I've been using it for the last like two or three weeks that I've had this. Just dug it out to show you guys. Really, really like this. I reach for this when I really want my makeup to last and look great and give me sun protection and priming and all of that. So couldn't be happier. It comes with like a little pump top so it's really easy to use and obsessed. I also got Little Replacement Evolve H uh, shampoo and conditioners. This is the Ultra Shine Moisture Shampoo and 
matching conditioner. I think these came in the very first Petty Bore box I ever got and it took me a long time to go through them because I find that they're very a very concentrated product and a little goes a long way and I also rotate all of my hair care so, so I find the travel sizes last a really long time for me. So I got those. And then I'd been wanting this for a while. It was actually in a previous wish list video. It was another Lauren B. Beauty nail polish. I had gotten hashtag I'm so LA, which is like a sort of hot pink color in a past Pity Vore box, and I loved the formula. And I had been I had my eye on this color for a while. It's called Mahalan Drive. And it's kind of like a blueberry. I have a navy polish by Butter London, and I really can't stand the way that it looks on me. This is like a muted way to wear blue on the nails and I really like it. I've worn it, I've done one manicure with it. I might put it on my nails next actually and wear it for like October favorites and mention it again in that video because I do think the formula of this line is really superior. Beautiful color range and I'm super happy with it. It goes opaque in one coat. You really only need one coat of this polish. I tend to do two just for longevity of a manicure but yeah. Really nice. And then I thought that I would like be done with Pettivore after that order, but when you spend money, you get points. So somehow I had another like $15 off to use. So needed a replacement mascara. So I decided to pick up another one of the Lily Lolo Black Natural Mascara. Uh, this was also a big hit that came in a past Pettivore box. Pretty much done with my first tube of it. I actually used it this morning and it's like super dried out so I'm probably gonna toss it this week so I just wanted to get a replacement best by far best natural mascara all natural mascara I've ever tried um, and really rivals conventional mascaras as well so I bought a second tube that should be a testament to how much I really like it and then I needed a new toner I'm almost out of my Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator that's the one I'm currently using and I had my eye on this one it's the RL Linden Company Thousand Petal Beautifying Mist Hydrating Floral Toner. I had gone through a sample of this and I just thought that it was beautiful and it reminded me of, and I've said this before but I'll repeat myself, it reminds me of the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence, like her toner, before she reformulated it. I absolutely was obsessed with that product, but once she changed packaging and went into the frosted green bottle, something was different about it. But this reminds me of vintage Tata Harper and I really, really like it. So I'm so excited to finish up my hydrating accelerator and start using this. Then I placed a small Pharmaca order because I needed a replacement Zuzu Lux liquid eyeliner. Totally just a staple product for me. I'm also nearing the end of one of mine. I have to do an empties video soon too, actually, but yeah, just needed another one of these. I tend to always get them on Pharmaca because then I can sort of pick up other little bits and bobs while I'm shopping on there. So I took the opportunity to pick up two Jane Iredale lip liners, which I've been wanting to try their lip liners for a while. I picked these up in the color Spice and the color Berry. I'll do quick swatches for you. I actually used Berry this morning to do a little lip line with the lip color that I'm wearing right now which I'll tell you about when I get to those products. This is Spice. And this is the one that I wanted the most. It's just kind of to create that 90s Kylie Jenner-esque lip. I've heard a lot of raves about this lip liner. So I'm really excited to incorporate it. They, so far, just from having used the Berry one this morning, I like the formula. Uh, <clears throat> very comparable to MAC lip liners, as far as I can tell, but I'll obviously have to use them more to give a full comparison. But yeah, I decided to get the shade Berry as well, which looks like that, and very pretty color. Very similar to MAC's Beat, which I have. <laughs> If you watched my last video, this won't be surprising to you, but during an in-store trip, I had picked up the Bite Beauty Best Bite Rewind for matte crayon set. So, and if I'm not going to do swatches of all of these because if you watched my last video, you can see them all on my lips. So I will link that video down below. Then I saw that Bite also came out with five new mix and mingle duos, which I love. I think there's such an amazing way to try a lot of colors. 
at a pretty affordable price. A normal sized bite lipstick is $24, but the mix and mingle duos are $14. And the color combos looked like super stunning. I was so obsessed. Immediately, the first one that caught my eye was the darkest duo, which is Scarlet and Mulberry, which is, I have a combo of those two colors on my lips right now. And I was, I'm like so obsessed with it. To me, this is like one of the standouts of all the Bite products I've gotten recently. And then I also picked up Holly and Tannin which I like. I'm just not sure the colors are super unique. I might end up returning this one. I do, I think that they're beautiful. I just think that I have colors that are very similar to this. I think that the color Coolie of, in the matte crayon set is quite similar to the color Tannin. And then Holly is like an orangey red and I just have other lipsticks that are like that. I guess I would say MAC Lady Danger is probably the closest thing I have to Holly or the Aromine Liquid Lipstick in Preppy Red is also quite similar. I mean, given that Bite is a cleaner lipstick formulation than MAC, I may end up keeping it and, you know, maybe getting rid of the MAC ones. Oh my god. Recently I've been hearing people saying, oh, they're steering clear of Bite because it has FD and C dyes. So I've just kind of started becoming attuned to that conversation that there's even issues with FD and C dyes in lip colors. I know that Red Apple Lipstick and 100% Pure don't use FD&C dyes and maybe some of those other sort of boutique green lipstick lines like Nudus and Axology or however you pronounce it, Axiology, maybe they don't use them. I haven't looked that extensively. I'm not, I'm attuned to ingredients but I'm not an ingredient purist I guess the way that I feel other people in the green beauty community are. But Bite is, I think, an amazing lipstick brand, and I've been really happy with their the products that I have from them. So when I picked those up, I also got a replacement La Vanilla deodorant. This is in the scent Fresh Vanilla Lemon. I like always having a La Vanilla around. I use lots of other deodorants, but this is just one of my favorite staples. And then I also decided to pick up a crystal nail file. I don't know if any of you guys use something like this. I've just been using a standard emery board and like a four-way nail buffer to do my nails, but I kind of, my emery board is like, it, I need to get a new one, and I was sort of investigating other alternatives. So I thought that this might just be kind of the next step up, and yeah, so I got one of these. Normally I can't be bothered in the slightest with the samples that Sephora offers. They're often like foil packet things that I'm just not interested in and perfume. But they did have a sample of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the pressed one in Opal. I've kind of always wanted to try this, so I threw that into my cart as well. <laughs> Okay, the last couple things are not things that I purchased, but I figured I would mention them here because they are have also sort of come into my life. I might do, I'm definitely, I'm like getting ahead of myself. The first thing is from the brand Mahalo Skincare. I hope I'm allowed to be talking about this. I'm assuming that I am. I got an email from the founder of Mahalo. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Marina, maybe? She had come across the flash review video that I did on Mahalo's range. I had actually met her at a Night for Green Beauty. Maybe she remembered me. I don't know. But somehow she came across my video. In retrospect, I totally should have sent it to her. I'm very bad at promoting myself to brands. It's like kind of, I don't know. That's like a whole topic for another day. The founder of Mahalo emailed me and asked if I would like to try a pre-release of a balm that they have coming out called the Rare Indigo Beauty Balm. They already have a balm in their line called the Mahalo Balm, which I had got, gotten as part of the, I had purchased with my own money, uh, as part of the set that I got at A Night for Green Beauty. And that balm has grown on me, even though it has this very strong sandalwood scent, I have come to really like it. I love using it in conjunction with the Vitality Elixir. This is totally different, but it's this reminds me more of the Blue Cocoon, at least in terms of consistency. And what I will say, first of all, the color is stunning. It has tons of amazing ingredients, 21 high-performing ingredients. It's supposed to be anti-inflammatory and sort of aromatherapy in one. A full size of this, one fluid ounce, is going to be $110. So it is still slightly cheaper than the Blue Cocoon, although I'm not sure ounce for ounce. 
It's going to be released on November 15th. If any of you are doTERRA or essential oil users, this smells almost exactly like doTERRA's Serenity blend. And I know that that's a very popular blend and people go nuts for the scent. So if you are a fan of doTERRA Serenity, you have to get your hands on a sample of this balm because I just almost dropped it. That's exactly what it smells like to me and it's beautiful. So having used the Blue Cocoon, this is like turning into like a mini review, but just to give you a first impression, I've only used it a couple times. It feels different on the skin than the Mahalo balm and just to note, this balm does have shea butter in it while I believe the, tr the original Mahalo balm does not have shea butter in it. The original Mahalo Balm, the orange one that smells like sandalwood, is very extremely like uh, emollient and almost leaves like a greasy film on the skin, not in a bad way. This one m sort of melts into the skin a little bit more and doesn't, you don't feel as greasy. I don't have a better word for it than that, but this reminds me more in terms of performance, not scent, but in performance to the Blue Cocoon. It's much more similar in texture and less oily, I guess, would be a better way to describe it. So yeah, I just wanted to give this beauty a shout out and let you know that it's coming onto the market. Then lastly, I finally decided, slash the stars aligned or like whatever, for me to participate in the <clears throat> Red Apple Lipstick Blogger Program. So <laughs> I am gonna do a separate video on Red Apple Lipstick because I have a multitude of thoughts on them as a brand and on my experience with them. I've never tried anything from Red Apple Lipstick too. Basically, if you are a green beauty blogger or YouTuber, you can receive products for free in exchange for doing a blog post or a video. So I'm just going to tell you quickly what I got and then I'm going to do a separate video after I've sort of used these things to tell you my thoughts. So. I got the lip exfoliator, which I had really been wanting to try, and this is actually the only thing I have used so far. I've only used it once, but I did really like it. It looks like this, just kind of a moisturizing lip balm with exfoliating beads in it. So I got that, and then I also have not tried this yet. I got their lipstick in the color Ravishing. I had seen I think Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty swatched this and I thought it looked really pretty on her. So it's totally like a Mercedes color. I'll do a quick swatch here. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. So that's what Ravishing looks like. I think that this is one of their more matte formulas. I really don't like glossy looking lipsticks at all. But actually, yeah, that looks quite matte on my hand, so I'm excited to try that. And then I also got two eyeshadows. I got the color Vamp, which is like a cranberry, brownie cranberry, very fall appropriate color. I don't know how well you can see it in the packaging. And then I also got the shade Bronze Bombshell. And they sent me like a little duo packet. So I'm excited to finally try Red Apple Lipstick after all this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always feel like my videos are just all over the place when I film them, but I hope that it comes together and was easily digestible and enjoyable to watch. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.